Hello, Pisces. I'm hoping you're doing well. We're going to go ahead and do your weekly reading uh, for April 12th through the 18th for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will be using the Kelsey Crow spread, just general messages, whatever the universe wants you to know. In the extended, for those that are interested, the link will be in the description box below. I will concentrate mostly regarding your love life and who's coming towards you. All right, so let's see what's going on this week for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, 12 to 18. One more, please. All right, we have the King of Pentacles with the Death card, Scorpio energy. This person is going through a lot of transformation and it looks like quickly. So we will see. The Three of Cups. Okay, so this is nice because we're starting right away. Um, the overall situation this week is regarding, this may be the energy, this may be what you want or someone that is coming towards you. We will see the whole spread. But the overall situation is reconciliation, reunion, cancer energy. And it's being crossed by the five of wands. So someone here is struggling when it comes to this reunion celebration or happy thoughts celebration type of energy. This is water and fire here. It's creating some type of steam. But uh, I'm getting that there's an impulse for someone um, that feels the tension, feels the restriction when it comes to this celebration or this reconciliation. And there we have the knight of wands. Uh, I keep getting... Someone wants to charge in. I just finished Virgos and they had the Knight of Wands as an overall situation. So I feel like this is all happening because there's a, a strong attraction. There is someone here that wants to take action. The, it may be a little bit hot and cold energy between these two. But I'm getting that there is this attraction and chemistry and uh, forward action towards a person or reconciliation. In the past, we have the emperor. So we're talking regarding some type of authority figure. We may be talking here that there was some type of power struggle and responsibility. We will see uh, why this emperor is coming. I feel like the emperor is the one here that wants to charge in. This person is used to be in control or always in a way getting their own way or being very stern or very authoritative in what they want to accomplish. Um, in your thinking this week, uh, Pisces, you are burdened. It's, uh, look at the, the ones here, one after the other. The passion is here, the action is here, but you feel exhausted. You might feel like overexerted, taking more than you should. It may be that this is a heaviness that is in your chest regarding this, per this person or situation, but you feel like you're taking way too much over yourself, or this is going to be long journey, exhausted journey. The passion is there. You do have a goal in mind. Chariot is the immediate situation that is coming towards you. So I feel like some type of positive movement forward, cancer energy is coming in. So from all of these situations, something will come that will move you. Some of you may be traveling, uh, moving forward or a long distance here. We will see. But this, the chariot, you want that chariot. After all these, you know, tension back and forth is going to be a positive movement. You have the Empress. Um... Uh, if you're dealing with the Virgo, they had that in their thoughts. You have this in your behavior. Now, this may be you, how you're going to behave. Very much unconditional love, nurturing, looking good. Uh, it may be also the person that influences you. We have also Libra and um, Taurus for some of you, just to let you know. But you overall are very nurtured, very open to this energy. It looks beautiful, actually, uh, having this in your behavior. So what is external to you? You will have the seven of swords external. So the influence is externally is someone here that is kind of holding back, avoiding, pretending. There may be some type of shady situation going on because I'm looking at the whole uh, spread. For some of you, I will say watch your back, but I'm not getting that for, for, for most of you. I'm getting mostly is someone that is not revealing much, holding back, putting a mask. I want to clarify before I say that there's a, some type of questionable attitude going on here with the Seven of Swords. It can be someone that is avoiding, but they're still interested. Uh, what you're hoping for, you want some type of decision to be made. That's what you're hoping for. You want to unburden yourself or this person to unburden themselves with the Ten of Wands and the Knight of Swords. But I'm getting that that's what you're going to hope. There's this clear understanding of this is the action, this is what I need to know, 
you may be expecting someone to communicate towards you. Wow. Okay. I really want to look at all these three major arcanas because this is how you're going to be uh, behaving, looking at yourself in love uh, very much, all surrounded by love. The star is saying it's going to be your best potential outcome this week and it's hope it's pos i'm getting positive movement i'm getting here everything is turning around for the better movement with the chariot hope and healing with the star and with the empress here it's just you know abundance love unconditional love someone that is very important to you as well but having whatever this struggle we're starting with the celebration what do you need to know this challenge that you are overcoming, the tension, uh, the very much the strife is saying that, you know, whoever needs to move forward, take those actions is going to turn out for the better. But you're coming out very optimistic um, there, Pisces, looking very good. So, of course, I'm going to clarify and see what's going on. Whatever this burden that you're worried about or that you're thinking, it's going to turn fine. All right, so let's see why we have the situation is the Three of Cups. One more. Okay, so there's someone with the Four of Cups. So there's the progress there. It's something that has been contemplating, an offer, an emotion, someone that has been lingering, waiting. So I feel like it's a reconciliation that you want or that you have been um, hoping for. The lovers is coming here with the four of wands and the hangman, which tells me very much the king of cups that something you have been waiting for a reunion or some type of um, commitment. Why is the five of wands challenging this? One more. Oh my goodness. I don't know if it's a distance uh, for some of you. Uh, of course, with the world can be a distance, but it's regarding um, something that has not closed yet. There's um, barriers, distance, and uh, unfinished business. Uh, if it is a reconciliation from afar, that is the biggest challenge. For some of you, it's just that there's certain things still that has not, there's not been a closure. I keep getting that someone is definitely, there's a seven of swords. There's a lot of upheaval going on with the tower and the seven of swords. Someone here feels like, what well, if this will be revealed, what will happen? What will be the repercussions? All right, so I want to see the Knight of Wands. What is happening? One more. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we definitely have uh, a connection. Someone wants to charge towards their... Um, partner venus in cancer i'm getting a lot of cancer energy for some of you but um definitely this is someone that wants to charge towards the person that they feel is the one the connection all right so we're gonna go ahead and see what that emperor is in the past you will always will have some two of cups in your reading Pisces. <laughs> always or some type of love and romance going on. What is the emperor here? One more. Okay, so definitely, yeah, this person is um, in the past, you or someone else, was very concerned regarding their foundation, regarding their responsibility. This is a person that always overthinks because, as I mentioned before, they are used to be in control. Or if they have to go towards something, they need to know. After all, we're talking here about the conqueror. We're talking here about someone that always feels like, okay, I got this, I know how to handle. This is a person of always needing to know that they are the leader and they've got it, Aries energy there. Uh, but someone has been very worried about the responsibility and these control situations um, in the past. So let's see the Ten of Wands. One more. Oops. Okay, I'm going to get see what happened. I keep getting this, Pisces, this Seven of Swords with Four of Wands. Um, 
this is a it's not a red flag but i feel like someone i don't know if someone has been avoiding a reunion or there's this reunion that cannot be very much out in the open two people that want to be together but there's something here of escaping living uh, in your thinking here, this burden that you've been waiting, it has to be with someone that you're on a break or you have taken a break, but you're waiting for something to change. This is what you burdened. This is what you feel very much to the finish line, breaking point. But I keep getting these two cards. And remember, I said that the Seven of Swords is external to you. There is someone that wants a reunion, but it's coming as very much avoidance uh, or that... They cannot get caught in this unpredictable situation. It will make sense only if you are uh, in that unpredictable situation. If you're not, this is not you. You don't know this person. And just is not your message. All right. So let's see why the chariot is here. Why is the chariot here? One more. The Hierophant. Commitment, commitment. It's always about commitment. There is going to be a movement here towards someone. We have the counselor here. We have uh, the mentor. We have also the commitment, the spiritual union. This progress is something of a higher commitment towards you. That's what's coming in. Remember, I don't know if there's someone that has been avoiding or there's been something behind the scenes here, but it's saying that the next step is towards a higher commitment, something very much that a potential to the spiritual connection, to the one here that wants to charge towards this Two of Cups. Let's see, you have the Empress in your, Empress in your attitude. <clears throat> also Taurus, for some of you with that, just to let you know. One more. <laughs> okay. Twice. Uh, Virgo got twice the same, but they got it, as I mentioned here, in their thoughts. The best possible outcome. For, for some of you, if you're dealing with Virgos, right there, there's the synchronicity. For others, you don't have to. Um, it is your opposite sign after all. So it may be for all of you the seventh house, the house of partnership. What is this Empress here? This is your attitude or your influences. Let's see. One more. Oh my goodness, uh, the Queen of Cups and the, the Star wanted to come here as well. It has to do with that uh, overall situation that you are waiting or the, the overall situation for the week, reconciliation, reunion, happy news, the Star here with the Queen of Cups, someone that has been finally hoping for this, um, you towards them or them towards you. But this is beautiful. I feel like you feel it, Pisces. After all, you are an intuitive sign. You're so open to this energy. Um, after all, the chariot is coming with the Hierophant and you feel like it's, it's time for this abundance, for this love, for this reconciliation. But this is what I don't like. The Seven of Swords that is external to you. What's going on with the Seven of Swords? One more. Okay, definitely someone is hiding. They have this joy, this happiness, but um, I keep... Someone is hiding their, their true intentions here. It's coming with the sun, so it's something positive. Tell me a little bit more. What's going on with this person or situation? One more. Okay, there's the strength card. So definitely, uh, there is a lot of longing. There is a lot of pride, Leo energy with both of those. But I feel like, I don't know if they see you as you're not revealing much, which I feel like you are because you are all open here and vulnerable and nurturing. But uh, whoever is external to you, they have a lot of desire, a lot of longing, but they're holding back. It may be a pride issue. Why you have the Knight of Swords? One more. Wow, is the Emperor. And the, by the way, we do have a power couple here together between the Emperor and the Empress, just so that you know. You're hoping that someone will make this decision, this decision that in the past someone may have avoided, they were stressed, you or them. If you are the emperor, that's your message. If you are the empress, again, depending, I get sometimes question, why am I? If it leaves you confused, guys, I don't know who you are. I just read the message. But um, that's what you're hoping for, this uh, very much person that is ready to take action. Um, they're very sure of themselves. They're taking control over this decision. 
firm foundation. All right, so let's see the star. One more. Wow, the fall, a new beginning. Okay, one fell. Let me stick one fell. The king of cups wanted to come here. I don't want to get two more. I keep getting the lovers. I want to get two more, please. One more. And there's the knight of wands, which uh, is the one at the bottom of all of this, why this is all happening. I, I'm getting that there's two, we have earth and water here, but it is this new beginning. You are coming out of this week with hope, commitment, overcoming the struggles. I feel reunion regarding someone that is charging towards the one. We have two court cards, so I feel like two people finally make that move, make that big step ahead to a higher commitment, to reconciliation for the ones that have not been, rec uh, that are not together. If you are to a point that you are waiting for the person to commit, I'm really getting commitment and moving forward. For some of you, if it is a long distance, this is going to be where you finally feel like there's hope between us. We are getting to the step that we are um, ready to overcome it. Everything regarding this reading, I feel like is so much potential of two people being together. The only thing I will say, I don't know what surrounds you, but the person that surrounds you, they are very much very proudful, they're holding, they're afraid to get caught in a situation or to open up. But I feel in the end, there's going to be hope and a big risk with a, with a fool for someone that wants to take this risk or this big step towards the person that they want to be with. And they're charging in. The Knight of Wands is charging towards that beautiful Queen of Pentacles energy. I really hope this resonates with you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.